morning, everybody. Take your order. You all use your machine on the wars point this morning. How are you? Morning. This is Jack. All right, Jack. First one, Dusty Hart. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. Actually, it's life after trucking with Indiana Jack, but here we are. You know, it's been two years since I have seen you guys, or since you have seen me. So welcome back. I'm back here. I never left, but I just haven't been making videos. But I thought, well, we have so much to share, I might as well uh, get, get some stories together and show you what is going on and what we're doing here, what I'm doing. And I, I want you to know I appreciate all of the letters and emails and phone calls about where I am. I'm not dead. I'm still alive. Yeah, I'm still alive. I pinched myself. So here I am. Uh, got a few things to show you today, some interesting stories about trucking as always, things that I think you will enjoy. First of all though, one of the newest additions that we have here is a new staff member and it's a mechanic or a technician they call him as you know, uh, a technician that works on trucks. We decided that's the way to go. Uh, to hire someone to help our maintenance department make our equipment what it should be and fix it up top notch. So I'm going to introduce you to Scott and he is our mechanic and he'll tell you a little bit about himself. Welcome back as I said and now here's Scott and take it away Scott. Hello my name is Scott. Uh, I work for Travel Loco. Uh, I'm the diesel technician here, and uh, I have a little bit of my background. I've been a diesel technician and trailer technician since 1997, which is about 25 years. So I've got a little experience under my belt. Um, Cat Cummings, Detroit, Mercedes Benz. I've had a little bit to do with all of them. Um, anyway, we. Uh, we look forward to being able to help you, or maybe in the future, we can help you any way we can. Thank you. You know, the, the thing about Scott, when he first came, uh, we didn't really have a place for him to work. So I drew this crude drawing of what I th where I thought and how he could work using some of the things that we already had here. And uh, he said, sure. He, he put it together. He... Uh, uh, went to Home Depot, bought all the stuff, and built this awning for us to work on our trucks. And so he's kind of a a guy that does everything. He he's like a not just a tech; he's a, a handyman too. So uh, that's what we have to work with. One of the things we get asked over and over here: Do you have any more lease purchase trucks? And we do have some in. Uh, back when, uh, after COVID, oh, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that word, but hopefully I can. Otherwise, I'll get banned from YouTube. But right after COVID, uh, when everything went through the roof, everybody paid off their trucks. So we had to get a new batch uh, of trucks, and we have now some Freightliners, some Internationals, uh, a couple of Volvos. So if you're interested, give us a call. And we'd be happy to talk to you if you're ready to buy a truck and open up a trucking business. So I got a new truck and while I was in Walmart, somebody hit me on the side. And of course they didn't leave a note or anything, but now I got to get it fixed. Well, good morning everyone. I'm uh, taking the Red Baron over to the body shop. So I'm real excited. Uh, going to restore the truck back to its normal uh, normal frame. So let's go over there and get this checked in at the body shop and get them working on it. 
Okay, we're going to a body shop just down the street from our uh, office. And uh, it's a Wednesday. They say it's going to take them a week. So I'm going to have to have a loner truck for a week. I will be a loner. So I've heard that they do really good work at this body shop. So let's keep our fingers crossed. All right, I'm here. They are not here yet. Travel Loco Dispatch, how may I help you? We bought a bunch of trailers back in 2022, and lately, drivers have been having problems with some of those trailers, saying they're starting to do uh, dog leg. Uh, most of you seasoned drivers know what dog legging is, uh, but just in case you don't know, you know how when you look at the back of a dog, his the back of his leg is looks like it's crooked. Well, when that happens to a trailer, the trailer drifts across the line, which it's pretty dangerous. It can hit another vehicle or the side of the road or something like that. So, the driver you see in that uh, gold freight liner before me or behind me he brought that trailer in and said it was dog legging so bad that he got a warning by a DOT officer saying that he was crossing the line so we're going to check it out and uh, see if it really dog legs or not let's put this to rest and fix it if we have to okay so what are we going to do here we're going to measure the distance between rim to rim and get a different measure on the other side to see how close they are just to see if the alignment is close. Okay. Okay. in the exact same spot. You see that's 26 and 8, which eighth of an inch is within in spec. What does it have to be to be in spec? It can't be more than eighth of an inch difference between the two sides. And it's 26 and an eighth on this side and 26 on the other side. So it's within spec. What we're doing today, we um, had a driver complain about the uh, trailer possibly dog legging so we're just doing a visual inspection of this trailer we run down the road and um, see what it's doing what I'm gonna do is run the tractor in a, um, a certain distance from the uh, white line now we're gonna put the uh, right side tractor tires on the white line that way we can see what the trailer is doing if it's tracking properly And uh, so far, it looks like it's tracking pretty good. Well, my question is to you, what do you think? It was pretty close. Like he said, an eighth of an inch, it's small, but it can't be more than that. Uh, would you take your trailer in to be aligned if it were that little of a distance off or not? It's within spec. Uh, I certainly, in my period of time as a driver, drove trucks that were way off. I mean, way off. Uh, so it just depends on the driver it could maybe depend on the tractor too but e either the trailers going over the line or it's not so in this case the driver that brought the tractor in uh, 
maybe when the police saw him, the DOT officer, he was distracted and kind of wiggling, just like Scott wiggled a little bit, because every driver does that occasionally. So maybe that, not, maybe that was the case with him. Hope you enjoyed that little segment. Now let's move on to the next project. Well, I got the Red Baron back, and that's the saga here. Thank goodness. You know, you, you hate not having your car. I do anyway. So let's get it out of here and start the next saga. All right, everything looks good. They didn't touch everything and move everything. Well, let's get out of here. Well, I think they did a good job. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, it's It's been driven since then, that's why it's kind of dirty now, but I'm thankful that I have it back. So here she is, the Red Baron. All right, this driver just got here and we did an inspection on him and he, he didn't pass some of the things that he needed to pass. So we're gonna fix those for him and we'll get started right away. So what are you doing to this truck? What's the issue with it? This coolant hose has a bad bulge in it right here. Oh, okay. It looks like it's been leaking all over the place. Yeah, it's been leaking up here next to the reservoir. So what do we got to do now? Well, what I've done, I've clamped it off to uh, not lose so much coolant. And I went ahead and loosened this. So now i got to take uh, this hose off of here. There will be some coolant come out, so I got a pan underneath it. What I got to do, I got um, I got the coolant hose ready to go back on, so. I'm gonna have to see if I can get this off of here. We're bound to lose a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's just the nature of the, of the pair. I'll do that anyway. I got this uh, hose on there. Now I just take this other hose off. Oh, I see. You already have it on there. Yeah, I had to uh, pull one off and put the other on. Now I will lose some out of the reservoir when I take it off there. Right. Can't help that. So what I did, I left the uh, clamp, I mean the lid on it, the uh, cap on it. So the suction will keep it up in there. Yes. Somewhat. How often does that plastic break? What plastic? You mean the reservoir? Yeah. Uh, not very often. Oh, okay. I just picture that breaking off. No, it heats up and cools off. And... Okay, so it's made pretty uh, strong. We're going to lose some now. get on Okay, we got this driver in and out. He's just now finishing up. He got a uh, steer tire, two drive tires. We fixed that uh, coolant leak. A fire extinguisher had been uh, used, so we got him a new one of those, so he's ready to go. 
and he has a new inspection now. So just another happy driver.